In the ongoing debate of whether Tesla should be perceived as a car company or as a technology company, Elon Musk has intriguingly referred to it as a collection of startups working on technologies not present in other car companies. This depiction may imply that each part operates independently, seemingly focusing on its own objectives. However, the most fascinating development lies in the fact that these separate entities are now converging cohesively, unlocking what Elon Musk calls one of the biggest asset value increases in history. For years, Tesla has been laying the foundational groundwork to bring autonomous vehicles to market. Nonetheless, Elon Musk has, on several occasions, expressed premature optimism in predicting the wide release of Tesla's full self-driving software and its readiness to function as a robo-taxi service. But now, with renewed confidence, Elon Musk is once again calling for fast-approaching self-driving capabilities. And this time, Tesla is prepared with breakthrough AI and an astounding amount of compute power to propel this vision forward. According to Elon, by the end of this year, Tesla's FSD capability could surpass that of a human, and next year, it might even exceed human capabilities significantly. Although he said similar things in the past before, there are a number of reasons why this time will likely be different. While 2023 is unquestionably the year of the Cybertruck as its upcoming launch and Tesla's showcasing of it holds undeniable significance, 2024 looks to be the year of Tesla's AI-powered robotaxi, where the convergence of cutting-edge technologies will potentially revolutionize the landscape of transportation. And before we continue, stop using Yahoo Finance, stop using Google Finance, and have a look at our website, themarketisopen.com, where we have instant stock quotes and a brand new set of quarterly financial data going back up to 15 years on over 9,000 stocks, and it's all freely available. Tesla describes its core FSD technology as being founded on four main pillars, an extremely large real-world data set, neural net training, vehicle hardware, and vehicle software. The combination of these will enable autonomy at scale. Now, according to Elon Musk, during Tesla's second quarter conference call, he stated that neural net training was the fundamental rate limiter. If they had more training compute, they would get autonomy done much faster. Thankfully, the company has been working on the Dojo training computer, which has now entered production and started to scale. By October 2024, it's expected to have already surpassed the combined computational power of the top five most powerful computers on Earth and deliver 100 exaflops of computer power, or a quintillion floating point operations per second. If successful, this will speed up Tesla's current setup, which has gotten them all the way to where they are today, by approximately 40 times over the next year, effectively alleviating the existing compute bottlenecks. Now, as per Tesla's AI Day Dojo presentation, their plan involves building roughly 100 exapods, each containing 120 Dojo tiles. Elon Musk has also discussed the possibility of boosting Dojo's capabilities by up to tenfold, which would consequently reduce the number of exapods needed to achieve this massive amount of compute. But this highlights the importance of the Dojo project, which Elon Musk seemed to be on the fence about when it was first introduced, requiring confirmation from the team before making further investment. But now Dojo seems indispensable as an alternative to using NVIDIA graphics cards clustered together in large data centers, which is proving to be inadequate due to NVIDIA's inability to meet the insane demand for its product. Tesla continues to purchase every available GPU they can get their hands on, but even this is falling significantly short of their compute needs. Much like Elon Musk's love for Oreo cookies, Tesla's appetite for GPUs seems insatiable. Elon Musk expressed that Tesla will continue to accept NVIDIA hardware as fast as NVIDIA will deliver it, and he extended his gratitude to Jensen Wong, 
NVIDIA's founder and CEO, for prioritizing Tesla's GPU orders despite still facing delays. But Dojo is poised to be the game changer that fills in this missing compute gap that Tesla believes is required to succeed. Interestingly, Elon also referred to the need for neural net training as quasi-infinite, hinting at the likelihood of demand outstripping supply for the foreseeable future, which further reinforces the company's decision and long-term investment in Dojo. And as an aside, it also makes a lot of sense why Tesla selected to use AMD's graphics cards within vehicles such as the Model S and Model X, for one thing to diversify suppliers, and also because AMD isn't being bottlenecked like Nvidia is for their server-side graphics cards and thus won't get in the way of vehicle production. Now Tesla's rapidly growing Dojo and Nvidia training clusters feed back into the other technology pillars, namely their extremely large data set. This might be a bit counterintuitive because typically the large, clean, and diverse data set is the thing that feeds the training cluster in order to crunch the data. But there's also a feedback loop, and this might be one of the most exciting things happening at Tesla right now, which is going fairly overlooked because of all the past skepticism around full self-driving which is that people are actually starting to use the product a lot. This is underappreciated, and so another way of saying this is that just in the last three months alone, Tesla's FSD beta has racked up more miles of usage than its entire history combined. This is completely mind-blowing and also very much falls in line with Elon's predictions and why this time may be different than any other time before. Tesla now has over 300 million miles of FSD beta drives. Elon says soon it will become billions of miles, then tens of billions of miles, to go from being as good as a human to vastly better. The key here is that this surge in miles driven generates an even larger amount of data that requires processing for training purposes, thus creating a feedback loop emphasizing the need for enhanced training capability. And so Elon Musk sees a clear path to get FSD to be 10 times safer than a human driver, which is one of the primary targets to achieve a reliable robo-taxi network. Tesla wants to be 10 times or even 100 times better than a human, and these pieces are coming together in order to get there. Now, research and investment firm ARK Invest showed a chart comparing how quickly it takes Tesla and some of its main competitors to add a million driverless miles to their data sets. According to the chart, Tesla is about 80 times faster than General Motors' crews at doing this and 1,500 times faster than Google's Waymo. But perhaps more importantly, Tesla's rate of acceleration surpasses that of these other players, enabling them to continuously add more miles driven at an increasingly rapid pace, since they can actually scale massively. Both Waymo and Cruise rely on HD maps, which differs from Tesla's AI approach, and they need to build and fund dedicated vehicles, whereas Tesla is offering this as an add-on to consumer vehicles. Each Tesla contains a custom-designed hardware inference chip, which Tesla did on their own, requiring years of research, talent, and investment. Tesla also continuously refines their in-vehicle software, which encompasses various aspects such as the sleek user interface, over-the-air updates, and the ongoing development of RoboTaxi network software. All of these components form part of the software pillar necessary to enable new RoboTaxi functionality when Tesla is ready. Arguably, there may be a fifth pillar, which we talked about in our wireless technology video, which may be needed to solve a RoboTaxi's charging capability. This may be an infrastructure pillar, but Tesla does have some options, given that they happen to own the largest fast charging network in the world and are constantly upgrading it. Now, Elon Musk highlights how difficult it is to copy each of Tesla's four pillars of autonomy. The ability to manufacture cars is undoubtedly an advantage as these vehicles integrate dedicated sensors, chips, and software, all intricately interconnected. Moreover, beyond traditional car companies, few, if any, 
tech companies possess massive computer clusters like the one Tesla is in the process of building. Additionally, no other entity in the world can match the extensive set of real-world driving data that Tesla has amassed and continues to expand substantially. This can be attributed to Tesla's massive fleet, each vehicle equipped with cameras and the connectivity to send back data to Tesla's mothership. And so if you thought that Tesla was growing autonomous miles driven at a blistering pace right now, starting potentially in late 2024, this could pop even further with the launch of Tesla's low-cost, dedicated robotaxi vehicle. This is why the second half of 2024 is so interesting, as it coincides with huge compute power increases, coupled with an acceleration in the number of Teslas on the road, each adding to that data pile. Curiously, Elon Musk also used the phrase quasi-infinite demand for dedicated robotaxi products. This is also the way Elon described Tesla's energy products in the previous quarter, suggesting that demand was off the charts. Although it's very much a forward-looking statement, since Tesla doesn't even make a dedicated robotaxi vehicle yet, and already Elon Musk is saying that there's quasi-infinite demand for it. This may be attributed to his vision for the future, but combined with the insider knowledge he has, given that he's directing the development of this exciting new type of vehicle. Elon Musk described it on the conference call as a revolutionary design made in a revolutionary way, and forecast that the accompanying factory will build the highest number of units per hour of any production vehicle ever. So Tesla is planning to flood the market with low-cost electric vehicles capable of doubling as robotaxis. We know that Giga Mexico is supposed to be the first factory to build these new cheaper next-gen vehicles, but Tesla's installed annual capacity chart in their slide deck suggests that the vehicle will be built at multiple factories given that it says it's being worked on at various locations. This is a bit of a double whammy because most automakers are struggling to put electric vehicles on the road and aren't even thinking about robotaxis. And here we have Tesla preparing to crush everyone's electric vehicle plans by drowning them out with a low-cost EV and at the same time scaling the robotaxi business for which Tesla is light years ahead on. Elon Musk has also divulged recent news that he's already in early talks with another major automaker to license out full self-driving software. This is another good idea for Tesla, similar to them opening up the supercharger network. For one thing, it puts Tesla in a good position with regulators who may want Tesla in the future to open its technology, but in this case, Tesla does it on their own terms. They can sell FSD to third-party customers the same way they sell it to Tesla owners and make money this way, and then also collect a small fee for every single mile driven in a different company's car. So Tesla won't just be making money every time someone drives a Tesla, but also when someone drives, say, a Ford, or whoever this mystery company is, perhaps extending to an array of licensees in the future. This is basically the mobile strategy, since it in a sense prevents other companies from investing in their own self-driving systems if they rely on Tesla. They'd be required to put Tesla's hardware, cameras, and chips into their own vehicles, making a big commitment to Tesla since it could take three years for any major automotive manufacturing decision. That also means it's much harder and more expensive to switch away later on to a different self-driving provider should one eventually exist. Tesla would also likely collect all of the data on these third-party vehicles and aggregate it for itself. Interestingly, Elon Musk likens the robotaxi network to Airbnb, just lending out your car instead of your house. He mentions Airbnb multiple times on the conference call, which is another fascinating point, since one of Airbnb's co-founders also recently joined Tesla's board of directors, Joe Gebbia. His expertise in running and expanding Airbnb could prove very useful for advising Tesla in expanding the robotaxi network worldwide. And so 2024 seems to be the perfect time where Tesla's scaling in all of these areas, in compute, in usage of the product and miles driven, and their growing fleet size, 
will all reach critical mass. While the analysts on the conference call are concerned about vehicle margins, Elon Musk assures them that autonomy will make these numbers look silly. Margins on cars are minor compared to the long-term picture. Just like with Oreo cookies, where the sole purpose of the cookie is to deliver the icing in the middle, Tesla's vehicles similarly serve as a means to deliver autonomy. So do you think 2024 will be the year of Tesla's robo-taxi network? And what impact do you think Elon Musk's autonomy strategy will have on the adoption of electric cars? Don't forget to watch my last video on Tesla's Cybertruck disrupting the pickup truck space. Please hit the like button and subscribe, we would really appreciate that. And a huge shout out to all of our patrons that help to support our channel. By joining us, your support helps us to continue to make great content. Thank you guys so much for watching.